Hey y'all, it's um, been a while since I've posted a video, but today we're headed out to uh, George's indoor facility. Got that rented out today. So, yeah, so it's it's really cold today. It snowed this morning, even though it really hasn't, you know, there's no snow on the ground, but it snowed, it was like 26 this morning, but it's, let me see, it's what, 38? Or at least what my car says 38 right now, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna head over, pack poles with uh, with Shay, one of the other vaulters, and um, so yeah, I will see you guys over there. How are you, dude? Say hi to the camera. Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I know it seems like every video I start in my car, but it's just the most common place I'm in. But yeah, today um, I have some like old footage you may have seen before or after. I don't know when I'm going to add that into the video, but it's kind of just unused footage I've had so far because um, I really haven't been able to time to make like a full YouTube video. Um, but yeah, today I'm actually going to be doing small... I'm gonna be doing a little bit of errands. I have bought my girlfriend a James Avery ring. Um, let me see if I can get that out for you. This is what the ring looks like. It's just a little scripted S on a ring. But um, basically, I got like the wrong size. It was just a few too small for one and a few too big for the other ring of finger. So I'm gonna go to James Avery. Sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Um, I'm gonna go to James Avery place it I have receipt here so hopefully they're pretty lenient on that and then but yeah so I will see you guys um, in a bit we have made it got the ring Ready to go, size eight. So I'm gonna head into good old Walmart. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around. I'm out biking right now. And, uh, good old Google just got me a road. I, uh, of course, can take my road bike on. I'm trying to get to uh, the Denton Airfield. You know, I see some planes. I don't know if you can see it in camera, but. I'm gonna head over there and see what's up about that. Found the airfield. It's right down there. I'm gonna go see if I can wash some planes. Made it to the airfield. Somebody's flying around a drone. Very cool. Sorry for the wind noise, but this is the park at North Lakes. Pretty cool. They have like baseball fields and I'll be to that RC field I just showed y'all, basketball courts. I think there's a game going on down here. As well as golf. They have their own driving range. I'll show you guys that in a second. Tennis courts over there. That's the golf range right in front of me here. Lots of people here Sunday. I've been there five or six times. So yeah. Pretty cool place. Hey guys, thought I would take a little bit of time to talk to y'all. Ah shit, come on. Um, to talk to y'all about, I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm sure the wind noise is atrocious. Um, but, if it's if it's too windy i'll just uh i have like a time lapse i'll use 
Um, but I'm sure you guys have all seen recently about the whole COPPA situation on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, COPPA is um, a law in the, in the US that protects children under 13 from getting their data collected. So like, example, YouTube, a personalized advertisement um, or anything that's like collected data on children is prohibited across the internet it is anywhere on the internet you cannot collect data without parental permission by guardian or parent and recently i can't i can't remember the numbers youtube was sued for millions of dollars for um the collection of data on children and i mean we all know children use YouTube I mean I mean you know the baby shark crap and all the different children's videos those are clearly intended to be children's content uh, gosh it is so freaking hard to play it's so go 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 but um, yeah so the FCC sued YouTube for collecting data on children, um, advertising to them. So YouTube, instead of having a bunch of lawsuits, added a new system that affects every YouTuber, including me. I don't even make money. You have to flag your videos as made for kids or not. Um, so, they do not collect ads, which um, they will if it is made for adults or, you know, above 13. I'm trying to freaking get to, you see those giant freaking buildings? Those is TWU. I'm trying to get over there so I can bike on their trails. Um, but, yeah, so YouTube has a system where you flag it as kids content or not. And the crazy thing is, if you mark it incorrectly, the FCC can sue you for like $42,000 per video or something ridiculous. Thank you. Oh, I hate slowing down. Uh, I'm sorry if the wind is super bad. I'm trying to shield it. Gosh dang it. That sucks. My brake just fell out. I gotta go freaking find it. Black piece of crap. Okay, let me adjust y'all. So, sorry if the windows again. But, I don't know what I was talking about, but basically, on the last level, little rudder pad, if I like pull the, the bike back while having the brakes on, it like falls out, so it's a pain in the ass. But, um, the FTC will fine YouTubers $42,000 per video violation. They get across here for a Okay, back in the road. Here we go. I'll fix you on next to my stop, but basically. A bunch of creators right now are in a panic mode because they don't know where the line is 
when it comes to children's content. Like, YouTube did give some guidelines. There really wasn't any great um, straight up guidelines for like, oh, this exact thing will get you child restricted or the child content tag. So, all the YouTubers now are freaking out that like, is their content children's content? Or is it just... Fuck this loud. But, I don't know. My content, obviously. All right, we're back. Don't hit me. fall over Cody okay um but yeah so YouTubers are having to manually flag all their content about is it made for children or adults thing about if you flag it for kids you lose like up to 60% of the revenue you would get if it wasn't so there's like a big problem for YouTubers where too edgy, the content's too edgy, it's not advertiser friendly. But if it's too kid friendly, um, if it's too kid friendly, we get flagged for kids. So, it was a conundrum. And if you lie, it's like you're losing money. So, you can get sued for a tip of money. But, Luckily, right now, at least it's not affecting me. I'm not making money, and I don't make kids' content, obviously, and I don't really, you know, plan to. So I'm kind of in the safe zone, but I'll get back to traveling around. I'm gonna have a time lapse for y'all. A TWU, and I hope you guys enjoy it.